Hi, hello, hi, welcome back. So today I have a video for you, obviously, that's what you're watching. And this video is one that I've promised to make for quite a while to one specific person, that being George. While I was live streaming Glide, he gave me an incredible PowerPoint presentation on why I should beat one specific level. <laughs> Why you should make a video on white space. This slideshow will be in white for obvious reasons, okay? <laughs> the level looks cool. Example below. <laughs> it's just white. <laughs> it's fun to play once you learn it, genuinely. All right, all right, sure, sure. The song is good. I'd be head bopping and pelvic <laughs> thrusting to it for real. <laughs> oh God, no cap. The Crisis 3 of GD, will it run on my new laptop? Oh, general concept of title, right, okay, okay, I might have to shorten it. Or use funny GD words, I don't know. You are a PC gaming, so it's relatable and quirky. True, true. You can also sort of do a short setup tour in the vid since you got a few new things. The Crisis 3 GD, will it run on my new laptop? But yeah, okay. Bro, why would you ask me for thumbnail ideas? I know you're just gonna get a <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're not wrong. All right, you're not wrong. <laughs> That's all, play it, thanks. Amazing, amazing, 10 out of 10. All right, I'm, go I'm gonna have to now then. I'm gonna have to. So today I'm going to be doing the can it run crisis essence in Geometry Dash or something. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. Today I wanna see if my new laptop can run white space. It's not the most object heavy level in the game. I know that for a fact, but I wanna, you know, try white space and a couple other levels and I wanna beat white space today because it's something I've needed to do for a while. But before we do, Let's review the setup. Okay, so I'm in my apartment in Sweden here, and here is the setup, the computer setup. I want to get another monitor at some point, I just haven't really brought myself to buy one. So for now, we've just got the laptop here. It is an MSI Delta 15, and the fans... Yeah, the fans are going crazy. <laughs> I bought this laptop a little while ago for the express purpose of this trip because I wanted to use it while I'm out here. The main reason I got it is because, you know, it's a decent laptop. It's got better parts than my PC at home, but it's also got a smooth 240 hertz screen because, well, I wanted at least 144 hertz because geometry dash, obviously. And this has that. So yeah, that is um the main reason I got that. Other stuff here, we've just got like everything. We got my switch here that isn't hooked up to anything yet because I don't have like a TV monitor or anything. We got my Rubik's Cubes, I do like solving those. I'm a fan of those. If you're wondering, on 3x3, three three, I generally average around 23, 24 seconds. A couple controllers here, switch games, hard drives, because I thought it would be a good idea to bring all my hard drives. Um, more cubes behind this. Ghost Cube, my favorite cube of all time. I will say that right now. I did my first proper solve on this while I was on the plane on the way here, and it's such a fun cube to work Yeah, so this actually has better parts than my computer at home. And so I want to give it a go, see if it can run white space. And that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. But before we get into white space, please consider flying yep. right into that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, I guess without further ado, let's just hop into white space. I'm going to try and do a completion of this without low detail mode and let's see how well I can run it. Is this just disguising a white space completion? Yes, yes it is, but that's okay. Okay, 100 frames, that's not too bad for full detail. I tell you what, it's doing a lot better than what my PC at home was doing, <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah, my computer at home was pretty consistently getting under 60 frames, so this is pretty good. The video's 60 FPS anyway, so you won't even notice in the video the difference in frames. Dun, dun, dun. What? What did I do just there? What? I have to say, this level is like, obviously, it's a masterpiece. Everyone said it. It's an incredibly good looking level. But of course, I think a lot of people can agree that looks aren't the only thing with the level. And I personally am not the biggest fan of the gameplay in this level. Might just be me, but I don't know. Oh, that tanks the frames there. This is definitely the best part of the level, I reckon. Where are the hitboxes there? Oh my lord. See, that's the thing, like, I love how this level looks. It's an incredibly good looking level, but it's hard to tell what you can, like, what you can and can't land on and just... And the gameplay is super open. That spider part is something I had a massive issue with, because I did practice this level a little bit. Because I had full intent of beating this and making a video on it when it came out. I just, I don't know, I didn't enjoy the level that much. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. And I think that's the end of the level from memory, right? Yeah, the rest is auto. Okay. That's honestly not too bad. <laughs> 
I will say this level does feel pretty cool to play. When you're playing through and going through it, it does feel pretty cool, not gonna lie. The more I play this level, I'm starting to like it a lot more. Because that's the main reason I didn't beat this initially, is because it, one, it lagged, and two, I just didn't really enjoy the gameplay that much. You know what, bugger it, let's just try and go from zero, why not? Ah, oh, 31. Damn it. <laughs> I was genuinely really, really hoping I was going to fluke that from zero, but no, it's not happening. All right. I thought I, I really, okay, I got to try and fluke an easy demon from zero one, uh, one day. Even doing it with a hard demon would be awesome. I did it with a rebeat, Darkness Keeper, I think. 400 attempts here. That didn't take me that long. Anyway, if I search up Darkness Keeper here, I managed to do it in one attempt, which I'm still stupidly proud of. I'm really, really proud of the fact that I managed to do that. But I'd like to do maybe even a hard demon, just fluke from zero. I think that would be awesome. It would take a lot of practice for sure, and it would be kind of scary to do. But in the meantime, let's beat white space here. But yeah, I will say with the gameplay, like some of it, especially like those little pink orbs in there before, some of it feels really strange to play and really like, I don't know, just I'm not used to it in the slightest. Because I feel like some of this level feels like you should be able to sight read it, but there's just some weird gameplay in there that stops you from being able to sight read it, right? And I don't know, it just, it rubs me up the wrong way with the first couple practice runs, right? But I'm starting to come to appreciate it a lot more, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot to jump there, okay, nice. <laughs> I forgot to jump there as well. Okay, maybe I should hop into practice again. Also, maybe you noticed I've got a different ball now. I've been doing a little bit of coin grinding recently. I've been considering making videos on that. I kind of want to do live streams and do like stream highlights. I think that could be interesting. Just because I've been trying to grind coins just to get the last few achievements that I need. Because I've unlocked almost all icons, right? I just need to get coins. And at the moment I have my most recent milestone I remember is having 420 coins. Why'd I try and click there? <laughs> You gotta click a bit earlier there than you think. I might try and go from here to 100. That might honestly be worth doing. The depth in that part is super cool, dude. And that's it. All right, let's try and go from zero again. I think I'm ready. Now that ball part is just like impossible. Why? Bro, I'm hot right now. I did not come to Sweden to be hot. <laughs> Isn't it meant to be Nordic, like cold and stuff? Come on, bro. Okay, there we go. Boom. <laughs> that was a fluke from 37. All right, fluke from 37. I'll take that. I think overall this level is a really good level. I really, really like it. I don't love the gameplay. I'll still say it. I don't love the gameplay. I think Nero could absolutely go to town with the Stranger's Completion on this because there are a lot of strange ways to do it. And yeah, I don't know, but I don't think that was really the point of this level. I think this level was more of just like a creative freedom type thing with the decoration. I don't think the gameplay was as much in mind as the decoration was. And I think that's perfectly okay. If this is just like an artistic representation of whatever's, you know, going on, I think that's completely fine. I think that's completely fair. Is it the best level of all time? I don't think so, especially gameplay wise I'm not the biggest fan of the gameplay in this level <laughs> 
I mean, that's just me. Anyway, that took about 250 attempts, not too long. Um, how long have I been recording for? Half an hour, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end this video off here, I think. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it's only completing one easy demon in a video, and I apologize for that. It's just, I haven't had a huge amount of time recently, obviously, moving across countries. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later.